Hey guys, how's your abs during the lockdown? Are you rolling with a big keg or are you rolling onto a six pack? Let's see what we can do about some vascularity, some strength, I don't know, maybe some further conditioning even while we're on lockdown. How about making your stomach muscles stick out for the first time? Let's get it done, man. You know what? When you're locked down, you gotta work with what you have, even if it's not very, very big, or even if you're not excited about all that you have. Um, all I can say is this, take whatever you have and work out with it. I have a couple ideas for today, and I'm gonna be talking to you about that as we move on. I, come with, I came up with, I came up with an idea. How to add more weight when you don't have any more. Because in the gym, I try to work out with dumbbells that are like 70 pounds just for, you know, curls like this. These are 40s, there's biggest things I have here. And then on the uh, bench press, regularly we load it up with 315, maybe even all the way up to almost 400 pounds. Here, at the most, I have like 250, maybe 275. So today, what we're gonna do is look at some different ways that we can come up with ideas to improve our workout and maybe use something that we didn't even realize we had. Got anything laying around the house that you might be able to use? Anything athletic? Maybe a big red bat like this? This thing doesn't weigh anything. How about this? Hey, wait a minute. What do you think? Uh, no, no, no. I think we're better off riding this one. I was messing around today with what's called chain training. And what that is, is you wrap a bunch of chain around uh, a weight that you're using. And the idea is that the further you lift it up, the more chain comes off the floor and the heavier the movement gets. So check this out. All right, I hope you can see that. On my bench here, I got 225 pounds and I got about an 80 pound um, toe chain. It weighs between 80 and 85 pounds. I couldn't get the scale to hold still. So what I did was, I've draped it over my barbell set. And so this makes the entire um, thing, once all the chain comes off the floor, makes it weigh about 305, maybe 310 pounds. And this is working out pretty good. Now I have other plates that I could use, but I wanted to see how this would uh, translate. Um, I wanted to see how it would work by when you press the weight, but it's on your chest, some of the chain is on the ground, but as you push it further and further up, more chain comes off the ground and thus the weight becomes even heavier. And it's really cool, I've never done it before and that's why I'm uh, experimenting with that today. All right guys, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give about around 310 pounds. We're gonna see if we get a, I don't know, maybe get a rep or two, or I don't know, if I don't get any, then I'll scream and you guys come lift it off my chest. All right, let's go. Woo. 310 pounds. Let's get it. Oh, that was weird. It gets heavier the further you go up. <laughs> I have another idea.
Ready for another set? Let's do it. Listen guys, everything about weight loss, everything about being vascular, appearing to have your muscles stick out or your, or like your veins stick out or anything like that, all that is calories in, calories out. So literally, I've said this before on my videos, but if you, if you burn more calories than you take in, you are going to lose weight. You're gonna look better. Your clothes are gonna fit better. You're gonna take off a shirt and go, hey, I don't look so bad. But, but what's happening here is, uh, this is a thing I learned from Alton Brown on the Food Network. And I'm not trying to plug them or anything, but that's where I learned this. He, he showed a picture, he was standing at a, a gas station. He was putting gas in his car. And he was talking about the size of the tank and so on. And that the, the car would burn through it and, and you know, he'd have to fill it up like once a week or whatever. And then there was this giant tanker truck like that um, holds however many hundreds or thousands of gallons of fuel that pulls up. And he goes, imagine this. He goes, every time you eat calories, about every 3,000 calories or thereabouts will put a pound of fat on you if you don't burn it. Every 3,000 calories. So he goes, imagine this. He goes, every time you eat, you're storing potential energy, not real energy, but potential energy. He goes, so what happens is if you don't burn it off, your body looks for places to store it. And instead of having like a small gas tank like his car or even like this Camaro I drive around in, this got like a, I don't know, 15 or 20 gallon tank, he pointed at this big, like thousand gallon, whatever, a semi truck. And he goes, this is what your body does with calories you don't use. It stores it as fat and it just hangs it all over your body like this truck. It goes down the road with this giant tank full of fuel that it doesn't use. And that's all we're doing is we're storing calories that we don't use. And whatever calories you don't use, it stores as fat. And that's what happens, man. So anyway, all I was thinking about is while we're on this lockdown, man, we have, we have potential to put on a lot of extra weight that we don't want and be, be really unhealthy. We start sleeping bad at night. We're gonna have trouble breathing when you're tying your shoes. You can have all kinds of problems, but listen, man, all you gotta do really to make this work is burn more calories than you take in and you won't store fat. So get this guys, muscles burn way more calories than, than no muscles. So if you build muscle, you can literally sleep and your muscle will continue to burn calories. Thus you lose weight. This is why I like weight training so much. Man, when you lift and you create solid muscle, that muscle now goes to work burning off those calories and you can eat the things that you like and drink the things that you like a little bit more often all right guys sorry about the poor sound quality if the wind is getting to the camera or whatever but so here i'm gonna ask you a question which one of these should you be hitting the most while we're on quarantine if you're not burning off any calories i wouldn't drink a whole bunch of this i'd be sticking to this if you're burning off enough calories then you can pretty pretty much do you know most things without having a huge amount of impact but it all depends i mean what do you what is it that you want do you want to um, go through this quarantine thing and then come out the other end feeling like you just like messed up three months of your life putting on weight that you didn't need to put on or do you want to have like ripped abs what is it that you want i mean i want to try to stay as much you know in shape as possible uh, it's not as easy without you know without the gym but we can do it so anyway man listen we're gonna find a way around this. We only have a couple more weeks of this stupid thing, and then it's back to the gym, and it's back to our regular routines, at least I hope. But I have one more thing for you before we wrap up. All right, a couple of subscribers asked if I'd show them the, the back end of my property because they like horses, so I'm gonna check this out. All right, I'm gonna do my best to manipulate my camera while it's on a tripod here. It's in my backyard, my fire pit. I know that that wind is coming. I, I apologize for that, for the wind, but check this out. So I have this acreage back here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look in the distance over there, there's a horse right up there. And there's a whole bunch of them. That's a big giant farm over there. Uh, again, I apologize for the wind noise. Over this way you go, there's a bunch of sheep over there. And there is a big red barn up at that end that they keep all the horses in. And the horses are usually running around out here. 
so it's fun it's nice anyway there's the back side of my house in the suburbs of Chicago so anyway I just wanted to wrap up by doing that because I had a subscriber that likes horses ask about the uh, property that's next door now I'll just tell you this until next time and I've already uh, spoken to my trainer Dave who helped me you know with weight loss and uh, all the other stuff so anyway I'm hoping to have some footage with him in meet my trainer part two coming up in a few days talk to you soon guys bye